Well, what is up, everybody? It's Easy Easy Street Gaming. Bring you another Brutal Age video. What I'm about to say will probably make you feel a lot smarter, so you're welcome. <laughs> Just a little, little analyzing on the easiest way to get resources after being zeroed, one of my accounts. And come to find out, it was actually faster for me to collect relics than it was to actually go out and farm everything. You can also get things that you can't farm, like speed ups. Um, on the left side of the screen, this is what I, I did this in about 30 minutes, and about 10 of those minutes I got dis I got distracted. Uh, big surprise. <laughs> but the totals that I got were pretty good. Um, got like 780,000 meat, 190,000 stone, and I wasn't even going full full blast. I know there are people on our server that that are just in love with the relics. They get so many of them, and they actually advance their 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 city really well with them. I've asked several big players how they keep on getting all these resources and how they always have resources and they say they collect relics. I thought it was a joke until I started doing some of the math and it's like if you're in a big clan you can get a ton of resources this way. Uh, of course you still want to make sure you you uh, terraform as many of your outposts as possible and try to keep everything up to date. If you ever get attacked you're going to have to re-terraform. Uh, if you move real quick and move back, or if you go to another server and come back, you're going to have to relocate and terraform. That's, a, that's actually another big way to get resources. What I would suggest with that too, just on that subject, is, is terraform one kind, and that way you can just just get mana or just get bones. Those are probably the two most popular. And uh, so you don't have to worry about trying to go and hunt those down while you're farming, and then you don't have to... You just focus on other things instead of that. And yes, you get gems when you're out there. Sometimes like, you get a bunch. I, I know I've got about 400 one day in about an hour. I was bored and I was clicking through and, and on my server on 323, there's just, I can't get to the end of them. It actually stresses me out sometimes. I don't want to leave anything on the table, but I have to because I can do it all day long <laughs> to be a kid again. So one, there are times that you really would like to be able to farm, but you can't during server war, during barbarian war. Uh, during during a temp, temple or, or maybe during um, those other wars I forget. <laughs> and well, wars with other clans. I, I know it's a lot of servers that are not peace that are constant war with other clans, and every time you go out and farm, you get hit. So you can actually still profit while you're online by cl clicking on all the, all the relics. If you're not in a clan, you can make one yourself. If you're a single player out there by yourself, you should have a clan for yourself anyway. That way, you can do fake rallies and, and protect some of your troops. As soon as you're in, a, as soon as you're in a clan, or or if you make one yourself, you can start getting relics. Now, if you're only one player, I know a lot of people are gonna think this is kind of a dumb topic to do a video on is uh, to go out and get relics. It's something that we get free. Most people do it anyway, or many people do. But you'd be surprised how many people I've talked to that don't, and they would just rather buy packs and get it all at one time than spend the time and energy it takes to go hunt th through the map and get it, get everything. I was surprised myself how much I got in a half an hour's time. Uh, the best time to go and get relics is right after you get attacked. Everyone's bummed out. You go on world chat and bitch about it and post up your, your attacks and you post the clan and you try to rally the troops to go fight someone else and uh, they won't because that's you that just got your ass kicked, not them. And so what you have to do is go try to get everything to heal yourself. If you're a mid player, then it's hard to come up with 70, 000, 70 million to, uh, to replace all your troops. So you have to go out and start finding resources. Believe it or not, relics are going to help you out a lot. So get in the habit of getting them. Uh, you'll thank yourself later down the line. Because this game is endless. And um, the amount of resources you need is about the same as the government needs to run the country. It's, a, it's amazing how much you actually need. Now, there are a few things that you have to have in order to be successful with the, rel excuse me, with the relics. You have to be in a, a large clan. And you're going to have to de develop a, a pretty good search pattern. If not, you're just going to be roaming around the map aimlessly. And... If you look like I do if you ever watch me play it's pretty sad I've looked for relics and kind of swept through the same part of the map for a half an hour and got four or five of them and then I figured out that oh you go in a pattern and uh, you can get them all within about a half hour and if you're in a big clan you're able to do that you can probably profit more from relics than you can actually farming with five marches at that time and it's especially helpful like I said earlier if you're in war or you're at war with another clan or you're doing all those things that you get attacked when you do them. I know there's a, there's a bunch of different ways to end up getting attacked. Oh, and uh, 
you can go into your clan chat. I, I know most of you guys know this, but, but new players, you, when you go into your clan chat, you'll see those little icons to for the clan relics. You click on that, that will bring you right to someone that had already picked them. Uh, remember, you, you can pick them yourself for the for the new guys out there. You just they look like uh, they're, they're shining in the ground. You just touch them and they pop up, and uh, you get addicted to it. You want to get them all the time because they're free. Everyone likes free stuff. Come on. Also, try to stay focused. Don't be like I was. And I, if you actually, as I'm trying to stay focused, I'm watching the actual video, and I did everything you're not supposed to. So don't be like me. Stay focused. Get all the relics you can. Put all that money in the bank and. Uh, protect yourself don't get me zeroed all the time like i do <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video this is just a prequel for my next video i'm working on another one but i wanted to put this out because i couldn't believe how many people would rather pay than just get the relics so go out there and get the relics get some free stuff till next time it's been easy take care everybody